Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from all over the world, firstly, hit that like button. Secondly, welcome to the inaugural Chris Pritchard Cycling New Show Awards. And without further ado, introducing your host, give it up for Chris Pritchard. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Calm down, calm down. Anna, thanks, man. Listen, shut up. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the inaugural Chris Pritchard Cycling New Show Awards Ceremony. It's going to be off the chain. Make sure, firstly, you've hit that like button, you've hit that subscribe button, and that notification bell. Over the next 15 minutes, we're going to be taking a look at some of the greatest action throughout the season of 2019 here on the CPCN Awards show. It has been an amazing year. We've seen it all. The highs, the lows, the thrills, and the spills. We saw a Frenchman who just wouldn't take no for an answer. We also saw a Dutch rider who just rode everybody off her wheel. And sandwiching all of that action was, of course, the very first British National Zwift Race Championships live on television and at the other end of the year of course was the man who took on the ladies and unsurprisingly he beat them now obviously this award ceremony couldn't happen without the likes of our sponsors so i just want to take a moment to have a word from one of them right now no 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 oh god sir no no yes poor oh, yes 80 83, too young. Uh, that's... Oh, sorry. Uh, didn't see you over there. Listen, right, got a bit of an issue. I had a tie last night and uh, a, a meal. I'm talking about a meal, right? I've not been able to get out of the bog. I'm in big trouble. So we're going to have to do day number two of Christmas Yards. 12 days of Christmas giveaway right here. Oh, I tell you. Great success last night though, really appreciate everybody that commented, left some really positive comments and well you know what Santa's like, he loves a bit of positivity doesn't he, so without further ado let's get on with day number two. And day number two brings not one, not two, but three bloody gifts. Probably should have done that on third day, shouldn't I, makes more sense. Anyway, three gifts to give away and they're right here in me sack. Not all of them, just one. And this is mine. So don't worry about health and hygiene and all that. I'm pretty clean, because it's just coming straight through. So I'm not, I'm not that messy to be fair. But this is what we've got for day number two, a Zwift swag bag. And I know what you're thinking. They're thinking, Chris, we saw another YouTuber give some of them away last week. But did you? What you saw might have been a standard Zwift swag bag. But what I've got here, oosh, oh, oh, tell the, it's exclusive. It's so exclusive, I don't know what to do. Ooh, right, let's take a look at what we got. First up, that's got a Yorkshire World Championship exclusive bid on. Hey. Not one, but two different colour lids. Hey. Not only that, standard in every package. As with sticks, stick them whenever they want. Right? But also, the creme de la creme, this is what makes this Zwift swag bag so bloody exclusive. Look at this! It's a Zwift mug! I can have a brew out of that! Look at it! Zwift blimp! Is it a blimp? I think so. And it says Watopia there, so it's clearly from Zwift. That's got the balloons there, mountains, sunshine, volcano, Alp de Zwift. That's got little aliens here, and in there I can have a nice brew. Same again. Leave your comments down below. I'll pick three winners for these. Right, let's head over to computer now and see who's taking home the first gift from day number one on Santa's 12 days of giveaway here on Chris Pritchard's Cycling YouTube channel. Hit that like button, oosh. So here we are in the random comment picker. I have no idea how this thing works. Right, YouTube video. Right, so here I have to paste in the URL from the, the YouTube video that I made with Chris. 
and uh, get YouTube comments. Here we go. First winner is going to be up any minute. 102 of you in with a shout are winning that um, that thing, whatever it was. I don't bloody... Oh, cycle older. Older foot cycle bikes up at wall. Right, start raffle and pick a random winner. Listen, what I'm going to do is pick three people out of here because sometimes people don't always get back to me. Or they just leave a comment, forget all about it. So I'm going to pick three people. The first person will be offered the prize. If they don't get back to me in a couple of days, I'm going to take it to the next person, so on and so forth. If three people don't get it, tough it, I'm keeping it myself, all right? Right then, here we go. Start that raffle, start that raffle. Random, 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 random. Who's going to win it? It's only bloody PB. Did he say something positive or not? Chris uploaded CV Arcade. Oh, yeah, he did. He swore, but that's fine. Content is ace, I'm very honest. I love you. I bloody love you too, PB. Without further ado, let's get on with the award ceremony now. And the first award up for grabs is the Best Vegan Cycling YouTuber. And the nominations are... Ash Beach. Katie Cookerborough. Jorian Ryder and the vegan cyclist okay so the award for best vegan cyclist on YouTube goes to the vegan cyclist yeah dude thank you so much accepting this russet potato is uh, for winning the best vegan YouTube channel of 2019 is just, it's an award that I hold very dear and near to my heart. Uh, competition was fierce, but you know, your boy, he took it. And uh, the, the, the russet potato, I mean, it's a staple of the vegan diet, right? And so we're just out here crushing it and we're doing it and, and bro and dude and bro and dude. Congratulations, Tyler, an award well-deserved right there. And the next award up for grabs is the best meme of 2019. Now, this has been selected and sponsored by the Cycling Hub community page. If you want to check out their Instagram page, the link is down in the description. Let's take a look at the nominations. When you're about to bonk and you try to squeeze every last drop out of your last gel, when someone asks you about Glasgow 2014. Me trying to figure out what the hell is going on with stage 19 of the tour. And the winner is, no surprise to a lot of you. When someone asks you about Glasgow 2014. Next up, and the first serious award of the CPCN Awards Ceremony is the best moment of 2019. And the nominations are... Chloe Diger at the World Time Trial Championships. Mads Pedersen, the Elite Men's Road Race World Championship. Remco Avenepoel at the European Time Trial Championship. Mathieu van der Poel, pretty much any race he took part in, apart from the Road Race World Championships. Annemiek van Vluten and her epic win at the Road Race World Championships. And Cameron Jeffers' second place at the Durham Tour Series. And your winner is... Annemiek van Vluten. Hey Chris, thank you so much for this award. It means so much to, to receive it from you. Um, it's, it's, it's so nice to win an award, especially uh, with such prestigious um, people behind it. Um, 
this is probably more important to me than my uh, than my championship jersey. So, um, thank you, Val. Thank you to all my fans, and uh, hopefully we will uh, we will see you soon in the in the Netherlands. Keep streaming. I love crutch game, eh? It's nice and sexy, eh? Next up is an award that I've really been looking forward to. This is the biggest beef of 2019, and the nominations are. Cameron Jeffers versus British Cycling. Durian Ryder versus Phil Guyman. Rachel McKinnon versus just about everybody. And the Velo Live Cafe versus the Royal Borough of Windsor and Maidenhead Council. And the winner of Biggest Beef of 2019 is the Velo Live Cafe versus the Royal Borough of Windsor and Maidenhead Council. And obviously that's not the first award Velo Life have won. They also won Cafe of the Year from a legitimate award ceremony somewhere. Brilliant. Moving on to the next award, we're going to take a look at the most controversial moment of 2019. And the nominations are... Team Movie Star at La Vuelta, drilling it at the front after a multi-rider pile-up. Sticking with La Vuelta and Mark Soler having to wait for Nairo, Mr. I'm going backwards, Quintana. Niels Eckhoff's disqualification at the Under-23 Road Race World Championships. TJ Van Garderen being given the same time as the finishing rider even though he was 53 seconds down, had a mechanical way outside the 3 km to go section. And the stoppage of the women's race at Omloop Het Newsblad after the women caught the men's peloton. And the winner of most controversial moment of 2019 is... Niels Eckhoff at the Under-23 World Road Race Championships. Hello Chris, thank you for such a, a, a monumental award. Uh, to be fair, it's uh, the only thing I've received since um, since my disqualification. I still stand by my uh, by my decisions that I made on uh, on that day. And listen. I popped my shoulder back in myself. I, I suffered a, a dislocated shoulder for God's sake. Yeah, a little bit of help from the car, but still. Come on. It's bullshit, huh? Anyway, at least I have this award now, eh? <laughs> Thank you, Val. Okay, now it's time to take a look at our Rider of the Year for 2019. Here are your nominations. Annemiek van Vluten. Julian Alaphilippe Egan Bernal Mathieu van der Poel Primoz Roglic Lorena Vibes and Tajit Pogacar Tajit Pogacar Tajit I got you. And this really is a stacked field for Rider of the Year. It was very hard for our board of voters to actually make a decision on Rider of the Year. But they have, and I have the winner right here. Now, before I mention this, leave your comments below. Who do you think is going to win Rider of the Year? I'll give you three seconds. That's enough time. So, ladies and gentlemen, the Rider of the Year knew it. It's Julian Alaphilippe. Bonjour Chris. Thank you so much for this award. It means so much to me um, to receive this uh, award from, uh, uh, how you say in, uh, in English, um, a uh, Cycling um, legend, <laughs> legend, Messi. 
um, from a cycling legend. Um, Messi, vive la Tour, vive la CPCN, vive la Cris. Um, Merci, au revoir. And there we have it, 2019 has been an amazing year. I just want to take this opportunity to say a massive, huge... I've just realised I haven't had the lights on. Is that going to affect it? Of course it's going to affect it.